Welcome. In this video, we're going to be conf sorry, we're going to be installing SharePoint 2016. So, what I want to do first is I actually want to hop into my domain controller and I want to make sure that I create a new user for SharePoint. SP admin SP admin Go ahead and set the password form. For this, I don't want the user to change it. I also want to make sure he is a minor, uh, member of the administrators group. Not domain admin, but just administrators. All right. So once we've done that, I'm going to go back to one of my standalone machines. Again, it is a member server on my domain. I have a static IP. I actually want to log out and then log in as that admin. SP admin. So we're going to have to do a few things. We have to make sure we have a few things. First of all, we're going to have to have SQL 2014. We need to be able to have the appropriate um, installers for SharePoint, and which I already have. All right, so first thing we're going to have to get installed is we need to install a the .NET Framework version 3. We need this guy right here. Let it install. If you get a don't okay. Does not like the fact that that user does not have those permissions. I will just do it under my administrator account. on the ace domain. I forgot that I need to be able to assign that user more roles, which I don't really want to do right now. We want .NET Framework version three. Do you need to specify an alternate path for the source? We should not have to. Click on install and give it time. Okay, once that's installed, we're good to go. We actually need to mount a ISO. We need to mount our SQL Server 2014 Standard Edition. We need to give it a moment for it to pick up. If it doesn't pick up, then click connect again. All right, there it goes. We need to go ahead and open it. The software is kind of slow. Be patient with it. As one thing that I did notice is it is not very fast. We're going to click on install. We're going to do a new SQL server standalone installation. Be patient as the software again is not super fast and it does seem to lag a little bit. Valuation or product key. I have a demo product key, so I'm going to use my demo. Accept licensing. Go ahead and do the Microsoft update check. It will do its scan, it will do its updating. This, all right, 
should pass no problem. You should get a warning for the firewall saying it's on. That's okay. We're doing a SQL Server feature installation. We need to have the SQL database engine and we need to have the management tool complete. Next. Default instance is fine. You can name it if you wish. In our case, we're not going to. I'm going to leave the server agents, the built-in service accounts, but I am going to change this guy to automatic. Server browser, I'm going to go ahead and leave disabled, but the first two set to automatic. You can set these to domain accounts if you wish. I'm not going to. I want to add two users for SQL administrators. That SP admin that we created earlier and my current user. Here's a summary of it. I'm going to click install and this takes a while. So I'm going to pause and we will get back once it pops up with anything. Okay, once it's done installing, go ahead and close it. We need to go ahead and open up our server management tool. This is always fun. Management Studio. Connect to the database. All right, so first thing, let's go ahead. We need to right click on database. On the database server, we need to click on advanced. We need to go to max. Parallelism, we need to change that to one. Click OK. All right, let's go ahead and click on security, logins. We need to change a few of the accounts. We're going to have to change our administrator and our SP admin. Server roles, we want DB creator and security admin. For our administrator, same thing. Server roles, DB creator, server admin. For our system account, same thing. user roles, DB creator. I don't know about security admin here, but all, all of the videos I've gone through have this functioning set. I've installed SharePoint without it, but I'm not a SharePoint developer, so I'm not sure if this is needed later down the line. So one last weird one, which I can never get confirmed is this NT service MSQL server. We need to make sure that that is also set to DB Creator. Not quite sure why that is, but. And that's actually it for our database. Next, let's go ahead and let's put in a different disk. Let's go ahead and put in our SharePoint disk. SharePoint 2016. Go and run the splash. First thing we want to do is install the software prerequisites. It's going to install everything that it needs. And this takes a while. It'll tell you the time started. It will restart a few times, but it's just going to finish this process. Okay, so it needed to restart. When it restarts, it's going to go through that process again, installing whatever it did not install the first time. All right, I'm logging in.
it's a tad bit slow, so you just kind of have to be patient when it picks up. All right, there it goes. It's just going to go through the remainder of the installation process for the prereqs. All right, and it finished. Let's run that splash screen one more time. Let's go ahead and install SharePoint Server. Click on it once and then be patient. Okay, it came in. Enter a product key and then click continue. All right, you cannot skip it or not use a demo. Oh, could use a demo key, but I did not use a demo key. Go ahead and go through the installation process. If you want to locate files in different locations, I'm just choosing the defaults. And again, this takes a little while, so I'm just going to pause and let it finish the installation. And that's it. Once uh, you've done that, you're ready to run the SharePoint configuration wizard. I'm going to go ahead and go through this real quick. We're creating a new server farm. We're going to call this uh, SharePoint. We need to give it a a user, which has to be on the domain. Doesn't have to be a admin account. It just that's one that we've been using for the demo, so that's the one I'm putting there. This takes a few minutes, so just be patient with it. So this is where I always forget. You have to name this the name of the server standalone. Cool. You can actually give it the fully qualified domain name, ace.local standalone two. Passphrase is going to be the password for it. We're doing a single farm. Now, I always forget with the, the SQL server, you gotta make sure it's the server name that SQL is on. I, I always uh, kind of just forget that. 43211, that's gonna be our port. I'm gonna highlight this and copy it. Next. This takes a while, be patient with it, but once you're done, you can access the web portal for management. And that is the install portion of SharePoint. Okay, so let's go ahead and again, access this website. This is the finish portion of SharePoint. This is the admin functionality of it. You can exit out of this guy. And this is where we stop this video. Our next video will be actually configuring SharePoint. I want to thank you.